time for Panaderia Classic with Marts. Yung egg pie ko nagmukang tortang talong. Hey everyone, it's Martin and welcome to another episode of Essentials. Today, dun ulit tayo sa Panaderia Classics and we will be making some egg pie. So for this recipe, of course, we have two parts. The crust, which holds the filling, and the filling, which is held by the crust. Uh, as for the crust, since we have videos video sa tayo about this, I made mashups na ube halaya pie and also buko pandan pie. But for now, this dough has been resting for like 30 minutes. Now we can roll it out lightly, buttered surface. Put it <laughs> So we want this to be flaky, but here, you'll get more control. So gusto natin, when I put this here, lagpas siya by at least an inch. So more rolling. So how do we transfer this? The usual technique in transferring your pies is by using your rolling pin as a transportation device. So I'll gently roll the pie crust. Slightly lifting it, para lang hindi siya mag flatten. Hope for the best. Bring my pie tin in, and again, roll it out, adjusting when necessary. I learned a few basics from school, but most of the things that I know, like techniques or like how you figure out recipes, make your own, came from bakers, friends. So anyway, three prong attack. So what I'm gonna do? I have a little space here. Ipag mi meet ko lang sila, like burger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so set this aside, rest it for a bit. So now it's time to make the filling. I have here some condensed milk para mas rich, milky ang ating filling. Para tayong gumagawa ng leche flan, but with more eggs. Okay, so I mixed in three whole eggs and one egg yolk. Yung egg white na reserve natin for later. And I have here some evaporated milk which I will heat up. Gusto lang natin ng simmer. What makes this unique is the super thin brown layer on top of the egg pie. Very foamy merang lang. So usap na lang tayo. Yung prior to this, I used to work with corporate culinary. So of course, super fun. The exposure nandun. Kung san san ka napupunta. But then, the pandemic happened. Eh, alam na na si Irwan eh. Matagal na pala akong crush nun. Tinext niya ako, men. Tinext ako. So, dun na buo ang tambalang Air Marts. <laughs> Dahil weird ako. Gusto ko siyang pakapalin ng onte before I put it into the pie mold. Medyo kumapalang siya ng onte. Which you shouldn't do. <laughs> so, Cool down lang natin to ng onte, vanilla extract. Whisk natin until a little bit foamy. Slowly add in the sugar. Gamit sana tayo na mixer pero walang point. Magdadaglag lang tayo ng hugasin. Nalagay na, la na lang natin yung filling sa pie. Parang kulang. Cool <laughs> Masyado ato malaki yung ginamit kong pie tart. Pero okay lang! Isalang natin to, it's gonna take around 50 minutes. 50 whopping minutes. Or less. <laughs> okay, na yung egg pie natin. And you know that it's cooked, yung feeling kapag it jiggles. Jiggle, jiggle. My money don't jiggle, jiggle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle, wiggle. For sure. The reason why it, it cooked faster than usual. So, medyo napakapal ko siya. So, it only took like 20 minutes. Yung regular color na nakikita natin sa panaderia is like this. Kasi, they don't really like changing the temperatures too much. Nakaschedule yun lahat. Yung salang na tinatawag. It's time for panaderia classic with Marts. Yung egg pie ko nagmukang tortang talong. Let's slice this. Okay, right from the get-go, alam ko medyo eggy siya. I mean, this is a classic panadere egg pie. Although, lasang-lasa ko yung difference between using just milk and then using condensed milk into your filling. Meron siyang mas 
milky taste. Iba rin yung tamis niya. Iba rin yung vibes. And the crust, I really love the crust. But if you want it to be flaky, dry, I suggest you blind bake your crust for like 10 to 15 minutes. But then again, that takes it more time. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I like it. Thank you for watching another Panaderia special. Egg pies. Pero before I go, do na naman tayo. De, uh, guys, kapag mayroon ako sinasabi mga ganun bagay, wala naman akong pinagdadaanan. It's just that I feel like more people need to hear more positive things. No, kasi minsan masyado tayong stuck na dun sa negativity that we hear from everywhere that we see. Kung walang nagsasabi sa inyo, you guys deserve all the rest. Don't let anyone tell, tell you otherwise. You guys are great. Kahit anong output ang gawin nyo, try cooking, nag-fail, try again. Doesn't mean you're bad at cooking at all. Minsan lang di talaga, hindi natin day, hindi natin araw. So I suggest, live through your day, tapos tulog lang. Eventually, okay din yan. Ma? I love you all.